One of the items discussed on the NHL's conference call with its 31 GMs on Tuesday was a bold one. The idea of holding the 2020 NHL draft virtually in June before the 2019-20 season has been completed. This would be an unprecedented step for the NHL because no draft has ever been conducted before the Stanley Cup has been awarded. Now that would create a myriad of questions and complications that would need to be worked out and smoothed over. First and foremost, how do you determine the order of selection and specifically the draft lottery? Do you use the standings frozen when the NHL hit pause on March 12th? Do you use points percentage? Do you use a 68 game rollback as we've discussed? That's first and foremost, but then what do you do with trades? Traditionally, draft week has been one of the busiest on the NHL's transaction calendar. Teams use it for a number of different ways to get better, to acquire players that previously weren't available, but also to create salary cap space. So how do you do this moving forward? Do you restrict it to non-playoff teams? Because players traded after the deadline traditionally have been ineligible for the playoffs. So would those players then have to sit out? So many different questions remain, including what does the salary cap look like moving forward? Are there compensatory picks for rental players? The list goes on and on, and with all those complications, a lot of GMs were left wondering after the call on Tuesday, what's in it for the NHL and its teams to jump through these hoops? And the answer may be as simple as generating significant buzz potentially in June and what could be a quiet period for sports. The timing of this proposal isn't lost on me the week that the NFL is holding its draft during this quiet period of the COVID-19 pandemic and all that's gone on around it, the NFL has been a machine generating headlines and interest, and the NHL could do the same before potentially resuming play in July. Stay tuned, remains to be seen whether all these questions could be answered, whether enough teams will be interested in to pursue it moving forward, but it's just one item and one way that the NHL is considering conducting the 2020 draft.